first, let's go ahead and take a look at the multicam feature. We use nine cameras in this shot. And the cool thing is that we can view them all in, in real time right here on the screen. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the system that we're using here is a Maximus configuration, and that's an NVIDIA uh, Quadro 2000 paired with a NVIDIA Tesla 2075. And it's a high-end system, so we really wanted to make a really complicated project. So we used multiple cameras using multiple codecs. We've got GoPros, we've got Sony EX3s, we've got DSLR footage, and they're all running at different frame rates. And we threw it in here, and it's running fine in real time. So let's take a look at the actual multicam playback. So you can see, once I start this, we've got fluid playback on all 11 streams. If I want to stop this and I want to start scrubbing around in here, you can see that I can scrub back and forth in this video perfect. It's nice and smooth. So let's take a look and see what happens when we turn the GPU off. I'm going to go ahead and enable the software mode. I'm going to go ahead and play back that multicam footage. And immediately, what we're going to see is this is going to start stuttering because it just can't keep up with the frame rate. Same thing if we go in here and we start scrubbing. Again, just too slow. It can't keep up. So to maximize your performance when you're editing, especially with multicam, you really need an NVIDIA GPU. And a Maximus configuration is perfect for this. So probably one of my favorite new features in CS6 Premiere Pro is this new uninterrupted playback feature. And what this allows you to do is to adjust your effects while you play back video. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust this color correction on the video. And you can see that I can make the changes in real time. And what this does is it allows me to tweak the settings really you know, precisely as I'm playing back the video. And so this gives me instant feedback in terms of how the effect looks on the video. So let's take a look and see what this looks like without a GPU. Again, I'll turn off the GPU. And the first thing we're gonna see is that this footage isn't gonna really play back well at all on the CPU. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn off the rest of these layers so the CPU doesn't have to work as hard. So now I'll go ahead and play this. And what we'll see is that as I make the adjustments here, it freezes the video. You can adjust it on the fly. And in fact, uh, the whole system pretty much has frozen up while the CPU tries to figure out how it's gonna accomplish this. And we're actually dealing with a really powerful system here. This is a workstation class Xeon 3 gigahertz system with 24 gigs of RAM. So, you know, this isn't a wimpy system, uh, but the GPU is just that powerful that it really can handle this in real time. So another exciting feature that uses GPU acceleration is the new warp stabilizer. And what this allows you to do is to take shaky footage and actually make it play back smooth. So I've got a sample here where I've applied a warp stabilizer and the CPU's gone ahead and it's analyzed this footage and figured out how to reconstruct the, the footage and move it around so that it can reduce the shake in it and smooth it out and have smooth playback. So, and you can see all the camera movement that we have in here. So let's go ahead and turn the warp stabilizer on. And let's do the same thing. And you can see that now it's, it's smoothed that out. So this is great for any shot that has some camera movement in it. You can save that shot just by running the warp stabilizer on it. And the playback on that is gonna be GPU accelerated. So this is a great feature. And anybody that needs to stabilize their video is gonna love having a GPU because it's gonna make viewing this stuff a lot faster. So I showed you how the new GPU accelerated effects in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 made it a snap for us to create our music video. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's over 40 effects which use GPU acceleration. We decided to go ahead and use some of those effects to create a very unique visual style for our finished video. So first we used the accelerated luma curves and fast blur effects to give our lighting a dramatic glow. Then we simulated a high contrast bleach bypass effect using RGB curves and the tint effect. And finally, we added some blurred noise to simulate the effect of film grain. The final product is a dark edgy look that runs great on the GPU.